What's up, guys? Back with another video. It's Tuesday. We missed yesterday's video because the batteries weren't charging. So, learn a lesson. I was using the wrong cable. But, uh, got that squared up today. Fortunately, the batteries never charged 100% this time. Anyway, growing pains of getting things right with our channel. So, it's today. Heading over to Concept. Still, I'm dealing with this wrist injury. It's not super bad, but you know, it's just enough to be irritating. Gotta tape it up. It's actually kind of better. Still, I don't know. Still not quite right. But I think we can talk about training through injuries, right? How do you, how do you know when not to train, right? I think the mindset of everybody is, eh. It's not too bad. I can train today, right? You always see those memes, the guy in the hospital, and then the guy telling the doctor, oh, should be able to train today, right? Yeah, no, that's probably not the case. I think there's small injuries you can deal through. You can deal with, you know, some minor stuff, but you know, once it's like a major injury, like, yeah, you gotta kind of stop, right? Obviously, Anything requires a surgery, you know, cart went through that twice already, yeah. Knee and shoulder. So, gotta be smart, you know. If you kinda hurt, you know your body best, right? So, people can give you advice, but if you're hurt, and you know you hurt, and you think you're gonna make it worse by going through training, then rest, right? The body, you know your body best. My wrist, it's kinda sore, but eh, just tape them up and some people just say run them hard, just keep going. But there's other injuries, you know, like especially if you gotta go doctors or something, right? I mean, I guess if your finger, if you hurt your finger, you can tape your fingers together. Um, there's ways around it, but sometimes, you know, it's just best to rest. I know it's hard because you think you're gonna miss out, you're gonna lose, lose ground and all that. But if you've been training long enough, you know, even if you're off a little bit, comes back pretty quickly uh, it's better to be at 100% than 75% during your training yeah? especially if you make it worse well some people don't know what to do when they don't do jujitsu so you know what I'm saying that's true too that's true too I mean at some point you know jujitsu is life which is true I mean even for us right it's five days a week six days a week sometimes seven days a week not every day is a balls to the walls training but drilling, coaching, you know, open mats. Uh, there's a lot going on with that, yeah. So, gotta be smart, you know. And, I mean, maybe if you can't train, you watch videos or something, you know. Or, there's been times where Cart couldn't train, but he just went to the class to kind of, you know, watch. People do come, t some people do that as well. It's hard to go to the class and not train, but, Sometimes you gotta be smart, yeah. Well, I, I was filming videos, so I didn't yeah. really care. You can film videos, you know. Especially, like, we're coaches too, right? So if we can't train, we can help others, right? Observe, input, coach, film. Yeah, it's not, it's not the easiest thing to say. I'm hurt, so I'm not gonna train. Hey, hey guys. Take care. Stay on the grind. Catch you on the next one. Us.